Well, ladies and gents, welcome to the Gaming Apocalypse. I'm Wraith, and this is L.A. Noir. Before we hop in, just a quick reminder, you are an awesome person. So, keep being awesome to others, okay? Alright, let's jump in and see what today's case is going to be about, shall we? Do-do-do-do-do-do. Ooh. Sarge, why are the guys giving it to the doggy? They're riding in trucks, numbskull, while you're marching. They look pretty badly beat up. Yeah, they do it then. Scuttlebutt says it's pretty hard going down south. Well, we'll find out soon enough. Recon always leads. How can we fail, Skip, with the shadow leading the show? Who the fuck is a shadow? Lieutenant Phelps, the shadow of death. What the fuck are you talking about? He's a quiet fucker, Sarge. You never hear the bastard coming. You're sitting there, field stripping a cigarette, and suddenly he's there looking down on you. Why do you think we keep saluting that jab loving son of a bitch? He's bad juju. That's enough out of you three! Bad juju? Where were you dragged up? A swamp? Hmm. The white shoe slaying. Okay. Interesting. It was a dark and stormy night. When a more than slightly inebriated young lady decided to get off the bus. And walk into traffic because, you know, that's just what you do when you're young and stupid and apparently heavily inebriated. Good morning, gentlemen, and what a grand morning it is, too. We have just cause for celebration. Galloway and Phelps are sending another fiend to San Quentin. A nice showy trial, and he'll be strapped down with gas seeping into his tiny reptile brain. Now, wow. to fresh business. Galloway and Phelps, the task is at hand. The address is on the hill, north downtown of Fremont Avenue. Okay. Skipper, is the new letter genuine? Now, boys, we all know how many imbeciles have confessed in the short case. Ray Pinker will let us know in good time. Right. Yeah, I'm thinking of moving up to a Yeah, I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I want to put him down in one round. Isn't he the cop that they're talking about indeed. on the radio? We keep locking what them up, but the bodies be? keep piling up. Yeah, California's love of bad Phelps. As long as the bricks hold up at San Quentin, there'll always be killers in this town to send. That's a and I thought this was comforting such thought. Area. I think this is the first time it's been raining here. California. I just want to stop. Wow, that's a genius level move right there. Driving in a convertible with the top down while it's raining. Brilliant First move. First letter, and now another body. Come on, you can't keep on telling me there's not a killer still out there. You know, Phelps, all these arrests on your record are giving you a reputation. You don't want them turning into unsolved. Getting a vicious killer off the streets is more important than my reputation. Really? And besides, landing a big fat marlin is more impressive than an ocean full of minnows. The minnows maketh the man. She can't always hit home runs. Sometimes you just gotta make first things. I mean, that's kind of a fair point. Like, you can't win everything with massive takedowns. Sometimes it really is just, you know, the maid in the pantry with the candlestick. Hang a right turn here. It is weird to be playing this game in California set in California, Southern California no less, and be playing in the rain. Like, it's not a common occurrence out there. Hopefully there's no mudslides or flash floods or anything like that. Cause that would suck. I do miss our old partner though. This, w this guy's, eh. Not a great partner. That guy there will lead us up. I'm stealing yeah. myself a lot about this. I'll just be another dead man. Oh. We used to sing. There's a big, 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 big
That doesn't mean a whole lot there, though, man. Like, there are cases where the homicide guys and even the people that do, like, body recovery for, like, funeral homes, there are times where those guys start getting f sick and puking on the, along the side of the scene. Like, not to drag up old history for myself, but I do remember when I still worked as a 911 dispatcher, we had a call about a person who had passed away in a hot tub and wasn't found for over six weeks. Everybody was vomiting at that scene. Scene is secure. The rest of the patrolmen are going door to door canvassing for witnesses. Thanks. Keep me informed. Will do, detective. This looks awfully familiar. I think that's the impression the boys from the examiner took with them as well. There's nothing original under the sun. Why should murder be any different? What do we have so far? Not much trace evidence to speak of. Storm blew in around 10 last night and the rain washed most of it away. And the body? Looks like she was tipped out of an automobile from the tire tracks and superficial injuries. Strangled with a length of rope. And for my money, it's triple braid again. Time of death. From her temperature, maybe 2 a.m. But it was cold last night. Usual head injuries. Blunt force trauma. Knock him over the head, then strangle and mutilate. No message with this one. At least she was left clothed. I doubt very much he was concerned with her dignity. The green silk dress is very distinctive. Any sign of her other shoe? No. And no handbag or other personal effects. Hmm. So he killed her? but left a shoe behind? Nothing significant. Screw that. It's money. It's significant to whoever dropped it. I mean, again, this is the 40s. Five bucks is five bucks, you know? No drag marks. The killer was moving around, surveying the scene. Or he was carrying the body. Okay, we got tire tracks. Our driver and our killer are most likely one and the same. I mean, she doesn't look like she weighs all that terribly much. It's entirely plausible that he just carried the body over. Alright, let's take a look. Left arm? Anything? Nope. Oh, actually, I'm sorry, that's right arm, isn't it? Because it's backwards. Oh, over here, this hand. Okay, so there's no jewelry missing. At least from the hands or wrists. Apparently, okay, there's no abdomen to look at, apparently. There appears to be a dry Hello. cleaning label. Superior Laundry Services, F1363. Okay. What is... Wait. That would mean that you could get... A name, potentially. Okay, that's that's something to go off of. We can probably get an ID on her then. It's weird that she's only got one shoe. Did they maybe keep the other shoe? Is there anything else around? I don't want to walk through the evidence. That would be bad. Oh. Uh. Oh, hello. 
Cutscene. What's this all about? Is this the uh, good old captain showing up? No. This is a lady showing up. What are we bringing our random lady up here for? Detectives, I've been working the houses across the street and up the block. This lady thinks she has something for us. Really? Detective Phelps, LAPD. I'm Mrs. Barton, Catherine Barton. I live just Hi. across the way. Okay. What can you Did tell you us? Did you see anyone around here last night? Not last night, but yesterday, early evening, I saw that awful hobo. A hobo. I mean, I have no reason to doubt her. I have nothing to use against her as a lie. So, yeah, we're just going to go truth. Because... Tall, gaunt, horribly disfigured. I think he may have had an accident in the war. He's a very scary, angry man. Any idea where we might find him? One of the hobo camps around here. He's some kind of hobo leader. They all follow him around. Thank you, ma'am. You've been a big help. Of course. Uh, hobo Anything leader? I do to help. But I'd hate to think that something so ghastly could happen right here and nothing be done about it. All right, Galloway. What now? I'd say call it in. R and I might have something to get us started. Okay. Hey, R and I, where's the hobo camp? Phelps, batch twelve forty-seven. How can I help, Detective? I need an address on Superior Laundry Services. Oh yeah, Just that's that would be a good place to check, actually. Superior Laundry Services, one two six zero West First Street. Can you track down reports of hobo camps in the vicinity of Signal Hill? Just a moment, Detective. There's a large camp under the bridge on Grand between Temple and Sunset. Thanks. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so we've got two places to go now. So, let's see here. Locations. Uh, I think we should hit the laundry services first, just because that seems like a more concrete lead, shall we say. The, the hobo stuff is kind of, eh. Oh, he's already sitting in the car. You slacker. Let's get going here, shall we? No message. Excuse me? There was no message. Where? On the VIP. The last body said something written. This one didn't. I'm failing to follow you. It can't be the same guy who was saying, right? Before you start trying to link this to Maldonado and all the others. There are more factors to consider than the messages, Rusty. This doesn't fit your pattern, Cole. End of conversation. Understand? He does make a valid point. This does not fit into the pattern. Alright, I'm assuming I can do this. Instead of doing the roundabout. Yeah, buddy. Looks like I can. Awesome. Alright, let's see here. Where else do we go? Go up to the top and make a left, it looks like, maybe? Yeah. somewhere. Yeah, there we go. Superior Laundry Services. At least the rain stopped. You can change back into those white bucks now. Uh, white bucks? 
Also, what kind of place is this next to us? Madam K's exclusive but not expensive? Okay. Interesting. What all would be in here? Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. We're investigating a case and one of your laundry labels came up. F-1363. If you give me a minute, I'll go find a register and you can take a look. You take a look for yourself. I've got clothes that need pressing. Fair enough. Devoted to his job. down that dress, is it there? All right, so said F1363. T. Teraldson. This is T. Teraldson, 43 Emerald Street, Westlake. Yeah, for a green silk dress. Yep, that's it. Am I going to say anything to the guy? Hand him his ledger back? Anything? No? Okay. Screw your ledger, buddy. Even though you just gave us the next place we need to go. Like, we're we're kind of rude, honestly. All right, we're going to Emerald Street. I have no idea where Emerald Street would be, but we're gonna find it. And there's only one way to find it, right? Whoa, hello. I've got a feeling we're about to meet another wife killer. You've always got that feeling, Rusty. Yeah, and it's usually correct. Please, please, for once, can you not let your assumptions color your detective work? Just you wait. Nordic types show a particular disposition for this stuff. Nordic types? What are Nordic types? What on earth is Rusty trying to get me into now? Oh, huh. this wasn't far away at all, was it? Hmm. Mm, okay, so I'm guessing there's... Well, yes, there's obviously kids because I can see them through the window. Super focused on that TV, Hello? too. Yes? Detectives Phelps and Galloway. Is your wife home, sir? My wife went out last night, and she hasn't come home. Then why Can didn't you, you report it? describe your wife and what she was wearing? We were out at a friend's place, Bobby Ross's, for a party. She was kind of dolled up. She had her green silk dress, open-toed white shoes. Those are her favorite shoes. Can we come in, Mr. Tarleton? I'm afraid we have some rather bad news. Do you have someone who can look after your children, Mr. Terrelson? I've been trying to arrange a sitter. Look, tell me what's happened. I'm afraid your wife was murdered last night. Her body was found this morning. We're very sorry for your loss. I know this is a difficult time, Mr. Terrelson, but we are going to need you to answer some questions. First, we're going to take a look around. What for? You don't think it's that... procedure. You see to your girl. Stay here till Daddy's finished talking to these men. Where's Mommy? Everything's gonna be all right, sweetheart. We would like Mommy to come home now, Daddy. What's the problem, Terrelson? Let him search. We got nothing to hide. Mm -hmm. You wanna hear something funny, Terrelson? Some bums think filling out a missing persons report actually really can happen. I wonder why the picture was turned down. It's a good question. 
It's a nice photo. Need to check if she was a regular. Yeah, Baron's Bar. Or maybe he's a regular. Anything else? Nope, only two items. Uh. Junk. Oh, really? Okay. How do I know that it's junk, though? in here. Not much help. Don't think this is anything. It's a box of sweets. Why is Galloway wandering around and not in here keeping an eye on our potential suspect. Ooh. Okay, it's a nice boat. Not sure why it had me zoom in on the boat like that, though. It's weird. Sweet on this dive. Yeah. Well, sweet indeed. <laughs> For a split second, I'm sitting here like, wow. So you've got a couch and a chair in there, got a table in here set with a chess set, you've got two kids and no television. But then stop and realize it's the 40s. Of course, they didn't have a TV. TVs weren't exactly common back then. If you'd excuse me, ladies. Uh, this looks like standard kitchen stuff. Oh. What's up with the note? Not sure this means much. I'll be out of your way momentarily, ladies. Yep, sorry. Hello? She went out without her handbag? That's a good question. She'd have to be in quite a state to leave this behind. Yeah. Left her ID. Wait, your license was only good for a year? Back in the 40s? Wow, okay. Teresa Terrellson. Born 1910. Mm. So, mid 30s. Something else in here. At least she was spared that particular indignity. Okay, I have to ask because I'm a guy and I don't know this. Do women typically carry. Lipstick in their purse where, like, there's not a cap on it. You can see... Well, I, I can't point at the screen, obviously. But you can see where, like, there's nothing covering the red end of that lipstick. So anything that touches against that is going to get lipstick all over it. Is that something that women commonly do? Or is that just something weird they're doing in the game? Let me know down in the comments. Because I, I honestly don't know. It doesn't seem like something you would do, but then again, what do I know? Lars was out in the rain last night. Okay. What does that mean for us, though? Oh, hello. Wait, wait, wait. No, no. Flip it back. There we go. You can see if Pinker can match the impression of the crime Size scene. eights. What is up with all the people having size eight boots? Apparently LA is nothing but men with small feet. Is there anything out in the backyard? Yeah. 
Any of this stuff over here? Um, I doubt it. That's a fishing tackle and a fishing rod. Circumstantial. Yeah, unless she was tied up with like fishing line. Then maybe not so much circumstantial, but where's the dog at? Anything along over here? Oh. Ooh, there's a rope right there. Turn around, dude. Match with the ligature marks. Oh my. Looks like it's the same type of rope. It's used in the last case, too. Oh no, that's just taking me back to the same thing. Okay, so that just teleports me around the boat. That's kind of cool. Uh, anything else over here? House is kind of a junk heap. Well, that's not fair. The house itself is not a junk heap. It's just the yard's kind of uh, not in the greatest shape. Of course, I'm not really one to talk. I've got my own yard work that needs to be done pretty badly. Good old fashioned swing set. Hmm. Trying to think. So, does that cover everything around the entire house? I think so. How long have we been gone? I feel like if I start the interview now, we're going to run into a really long episode. So, I think we're going to go ahead and pause it right here. I think we're going to go ahead and pause it here for the day because something tells me this interview is probably going to take a little while and I don't want us to end up with like, you know, a 45 minute episode. So we're going to call it quits here. It's a little bit refreshing that the MO has changed a bit. Unfortunate that it yet, it's yet another female victim, but... At least this one, I don't know, this one was left clothed. Doesn't appear that she had anything stolen. I don't know, it's, it's odd. Based off of what we saw in the original cutscene of her getting killed, she got off the bus she had a handbag with her when she got off the bus. I'm, I mean, I'm not 100% certain, but I'm like 90% sure I saw a handbag. She was holding something. It looked like a bag as she drunkenly stumbled out into the street. So, hmm, maybe the husband actually did do something. I don't know. I guess we're going to find out shortly. And by shortly, I mean the next video. And the best way that you'll for you to know when that new video gets uploaded is to be subscribed to the channel. And while you're down there hitting that subscribe button, you can also go ahead and hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Because that way, we can keep the YouTube overlords happy. So until next time, thanks very much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And remember, life does get rough sometimes. So good luck. Have fun. Stay awesome. I'll catch you in the next one.